You are holy, God. Yes, God. You are holy and you are so worthy to be praised. Welcome, everyone, to this evening service. Let's begin with prayer. Bow your heads and bow your hearts and let's go before the Most High, the living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let us pray. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Make way, for he comes in clouds and majesty and great glory, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. When the disciples came upon Yeshua and asked, how is it we should pray? Yeshua told them to pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen welcome everyone and uh, i want to welcome you all it is very hot i talked about this earlier hot in the state of michigan let me know in the room what's the temperature where you live the heat index i believe last time i checked is about 105 and i am just sweating profusely <laughs> no uh, 100 i haven't uh uh hot hot in ohio too yes i think you you guys are about in the hundreds as well 105 and uh, very hot we had a uh, of course i'm out with the ministry today and uh, i know diamond uh, we mentioned that earlier she was uh, out and about and uh, we both got grounded we got drenched but uh, please if you can think about the uh, the homeless people uh, so many people that are hurting and the elderly what i do is even when i'm not with the ministry i i uh, purchase cases and cases of water and i have a cooler my wife keeps a cooler and we uh, keep ice in it and I keep a cooler with ice in my vehicle and we we give out water you know rather than if you don't want to help them if you're afraid they well I don't know maybe I'm not gonna give them any but give them some water please uh, they are out in the elements in the winter and in the summer and it's difficult for them to find uh, shade from the heat and many end up in the hospital and, and have heat stroke and uh, um, it's, it's a very 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 hot uh, day today all right I'm gonna go if we can we're gonna go to announcements in a moment but uh, let's talk about the temple so many people today are talking about re the rebuilding of the third temple what about us taking care of our temple while we're still here do we actually really realize but this temple here not the one that is gonna be rebuilt and they're still gonna they're gonna uh, have uh, burnt offerings and uh, sacrifice because they don't understand yet they will but they don't know that the Messiah has already come a little over 2,000 years ago they do not still know Yeshua as the Messiah so they're gonna re rebuild this third temple Jesus makes it clear that the temple the Holy Spirit dwells within us and we need to take care of us because what does the enemy do the enemy tries to tear this temple down he's not worried about the third temple that the that is gonna be built in Israel he's not worried there he knows he is gonna just deceive everyone he's gonna have everyone just fall head over heels uh, after him and he is that temple is where he is to sit and, and again they, they're looking they, they I guess they've got uh, a lot of gold uh, has been uh, uncovered with a 95 billion dollars of worth of gold in the uh, the Holy Land and I'm sure Iran is going to want to have uh, uh, dibs on that uh, Israel is surrounded uh, right the son of perdition I don't want to get too much into that uh, but um, 
this man will be the, the, the Satan has to fall yet and if you believe in the pre-tribulation rapture I got news for you last time I checked we're still here we will be gone when uh, Satan actually falls and possesses uh, 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 this man who is in the shadows and, uh, and he is going to be an Assyrian and I believe he's going to come out of Turkey but that's not what we're talking about but that temple, all Christians are on the edge of their seat. They're going to have a peace. They're waiting for a peace treaty or a peace agreement to be signed tomorrow. A lot of people I follow, they, they, they're on the edge of their seat. They can't wait. They're going to sign the peace treaty. Well, well, well wait a minute. Did, did, you, did you change your mind? You no longer believe in the uh, pre-tribulation <laughs> rapture of the church? We're not going to be here. The I hate to say the word antichrist because the living word, if we were to, take our nose out of Facebook and put our face in the good book we would understand but um, Satan has not fallen yet and his angels as stars falling from the heavens they have not fallen yet so uh, how can there be this seven-year peace agreement and it, my, it boggles my mind how many why don't why do people follow YouTube videos. Why do you follow man? Why don't you? That's a be they're, 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 Yes. Why don't you follow Yahweh and follow the living word? But that temple is just going to be a place where the Antichrist can sit and pretend that and play that he is God and pretend that he is God. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for the dead in Christ to rise first and we which remain are alive and remain to be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and there we will forever be with him I'm waiting because he said in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go now to prepare a place for you I read the living word when Yeshua ascended up we're going to ascend up we are gonna depart exactly we're gonna depart first but while we are here, the Holy Spirit, the restrainer is still on this earth. And where does the Holy Spirit dwell? Within the born again, within the bride, within the bride of Christ, within you and I. And we need to take care of this temple because Satan is a liar, a deceiver, a master of deception. And he is out to seek, to kill and destroy, to tear this temple down to bring stress upon us, to bring confusion, to bring sickness and disease. I got tired of complaining that I, my back hurts and that I don't feel good. I'm having difficult walking. My wife then prayed for me and we came to an agreement. No, get behind me, Satan. No, this is the temple that the Holy Spirit that Yeshua dwells in and you are not going to tear it down. So I've been trying, we, my wife went and got us both a gym membership and uh, she is on fire and so am I and we've been working out and we're trying to keep cleanse of this temple while we're here to make it a nice place for the Holy Spirit to dwell within us. We need to take care of ourselves. We've got to stop the, 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 the GMOs and the terrible foods and the poisons that we're eating. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to uh, take care of this temple. Let me take you to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 6. And I want to read verse 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God? And ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Amen. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's King James Version Bible. Amen. Amen. Glorify God. We've got to stop killing ourselves and putting this poison into our bodies we got to take care of this temple do not let the enemy win I'm recording this section for YouTube so I want to uh, thank uh, 
uh, we had one offering to the ministry, and I don't know, I don't think he's in the room. Precious brother David, the eyes open, eyes open and disgusted his YouTube channel, and it's David Blair, and he gave uh, a precious gift to our ministry of two hundred dollars. If you feel led, you got to be led by the Holy Spirit to give either to this ministry. See if the Holy Spirit's moving you in a different direction. Don't give because it's Pastor Dave. Don't give because it's uh, Brother Patrick in the Philippines. Give where the Holy Spirit sends you. But we need to do, if we can't give anything, give of yourself. We need to go out. That's the true bride that is not, the true bride is not selfish. Just chasing the YouTube channels looking for, when is there going to be a mega earthquake? There's 200 mega earthquakes today and then the, uh, there's an asteroid. It's going to be a mile wide. It's going to come by September 15th. That, that's a that's a selfish bride. That's like, oh, well, I went out of here. Jesus doesn't want a selfish bride. He has expectations. It's just like with a, a Jewish wedding. The father, the, the, he, he finds the love of his life and then he goes to his father. And the father makes all of the arrangements. The son doesn't even know. But what the son does do, he goes to his bride-to-be with a list of expectations, what he expects of her. And we have been given to the living word these expectations. And it's not to be selfish thinking about our great escape and I can't wait to get out of here and oh please, maybe, maybe there's going to be a solar flare and it's going to take down the power grids and maybe they're going to start rounding up people with Operation Chain Helm and that we're out of here. That's a selfish bride. What, what we should be doing now is just tending to the elderly, tending to our neighbors, the people in our own community, to brothers and sisters in Christ who are hurting, who need prayer. We, I go to the hospital and so just go and pray. Ask if you can pray for someone today. That's what I did today in a young Hispanic man, 21 years old, who was uh, living a life of the fast lady, told me, if I don't stop, I'm going to die. Tell me about this God, Mr. Pastor, because I don't believe there is a God. And by the time we were finished, he was crying and accepted Jesus into his heart. But that wouldn't happen if I was on YouTube, wondering when is it my turn? The true bride is of the Philadelphia church, and we are not alone. Those There will be those that come out of the prosperity gospel, the Laodicean church, that will come out, that will heed and understand, and God will open their hearts, and they will come out of that prosperity, Joel Osteen, Benny Hinn gospel. There are those of the Thyatira church that will come out of that, and join us in the Philadelphia church. There are those of the church uh, at Pergamos that are going to run back to their first love. That's what we need to do, run back to our first love. And it's not about us. It's we know, but when, that, when Gabriel sounds the call, we're going home. When Father God says, Son, go get my children, we're going home. But until we go home, we've got work to do. We've got to be the salt of the earth that we were called to be. We've got to be that. Uh, we've got to be that city on a hill. We've got to be light in the darkness. We've got to go out and do something kind for someone, help someone. That's what we need to do. I love you all. I'm going to take a little break, and uh, we'll be right back.